In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hero slider in WordPress. I will specifically show you how to create a hero slider in Elementor. And this is what we will achieve by the end of this tutorial. Users of your website can use the controls here to change the slice, as you can see, or you can make it automated, just like this. How cool is that? It should be noted that with this tutorial, you can have a full slider or you can break them just as I have on my website here. You can see that I have the slider at the left side and another static sliders at the right side. So if you like what you have seen and want to create a slider for your website, keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. So this is the website on which I want to create the slider. As you can see, the hero section here is pretty much boring. And I'm going to show you how you can make it beautiful with a slider. So to get started, we are going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. I'll just right click, open link in a new tab. I don't want to lose this page because I'll be coming back to it. Then I go over to plugins, click on add new plugin. Under search plugins, I type Sina or Sina, whichever way you want to call it. It is S-I-N-E. I have the plugin here that is Sina extension for Elementor by Sina Extra. I go ahead and install it. It is installed. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Next, I go over to the front end of my website. Then I open it with Elementor. Take note, I'm on the home page of the website. So I edit with Elementor. Inside the Elementor editor, the next thing I do is create a section where I want to add my slider. So as you can see, I don't have any space I can do that. What I can do is click on this plus icon right here. And it will make room for new section. I click on the plus icon that is add a new container. And I'm going to go ahead and use Flexbox container. From here, you can choose the structure you want. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose the double column structure. As you can see, the two columns are of the same width. However, I want the left side to be larger than the right side. So what I can do is hover here. Upon getting these two headed arrows, I just click and drag. I want to make the left side 70% like this. Now that I have my structure in place, I can do away with this section. I don't need it anymore. So I take it off. Next, I go over to elements by clicking on the nine dots icon right here. And the search widgets, I search for slider. Right here, I have Cena banner slider. And that is what I'm going to use. I just click on it. Then I drag it on the first column. And this is how it will look like. Upon adding it, at the left side, you see that on the slide, we have two of them. So that's why you see only two slides at the moment. It should be noted that you can add as many slides as you want. So if I click on add item, another one will be added. And now we have three slides, as you can see. Awesome. So this is the third one I've just added. Before I start customizing my slider, the next thing I want to do is change the height. So I go over to style at the moment the height is set to 600 i'm going to change it to 500 you see that 500 is kind of cool however you can set it to whichever height you want you see that there's much space at the upper part meanwhile here there's no enough space so for top that is padding instead of 200 pixels i'll make it 100 pixels the next thing we want to do is start adding content to our slider so i go back to content the first slide, I just click on it and you see that I can choose image here. So I click on choose image. If you don't have the image you want to use, you can easily go to upload files. Then you choose your files from here. Since I have the images I want to use, I'll just pick them from my media library. I select this. That is the first image I'm going to use. Then I click on select and you see it's right there. This text, welcome to get start your business. This is where you can change the title. So I select everything and I enter. I have welcome to DNK shoes. And that is what we have here. 
The next title, if you want to add some multicolor to your text, for instance, if I want DNK shoes to be in a different color, what I can do is I'll just take it by cutting it off and I'll go ahead and enter it in here. So this DNK shoes will now be of different color depending upon the color I have on the slides. As you can see, all right, I need to create some space here so that there will be space right here. Perfect. So this is how it will look like. Next, we have the subtitle that is this one, this lorem exam, and this way you can change it. Going down, we have the description, which is this one, that is the small text right here. So if you have another information, you can go ahead and add it. I'll leave the demo contents for now. It should be noted that each one of the text we have here, you can animate them whichever way you want. For instance, the title animation, it is set to fade in left. So you can choose whichever one you want from here. Maybe I want to use zoom in. Let's see how that one will come up. So this is zoom in. As you can see, I will leave it as fade in left. The subtitle as well, you can change it as well as the description. In here, we have primary button text and then secondary button text. So instead of learn more or read more, you can choose whatever text you want and then enter their corresponding links. One other thing you should take notice is that whatever text you enter for primary button and then secondary button, it will only affect the particular slide you are working on. So for instance, if I come over to primary button text, then I say shop now. The text shop now, it will affect only the first slide. However, if I go to the second slide, you see that I still have shop now. On the third slide, I'll have shop now. However, if I go over to the second slide, that is right here, then I change the primary button to something else, maybe my shop, something like that. Let's see the second slide now. You see that we have my shop. Let's go to the third slide. We have my shop. So whichever text you have entered for a particular button, it will affect the entire slide starting from where you have entered the text. You see that when I enter shop now, on the first slide it affected all the three slides but now i've entered my shop on the second slide let's go there it has affected it if i go to the third slide we have my shop so now if i come to the last slide which is the third one and enter something else maybe i will say blog i just want to show you how everything will come up so we are on the first slide now which is shop now let's go to second my shop and final third one blog so this is how they will come up. Now under each one of them, that is primary button text, it is having its own link. So if I enter whatever link for this particular slide, the link will affect only the third slide. That is where we have the block text. As well, if I enter text for the primary button and give it a different link, it will also work separately from the rest of the slides. But I don't want to use different text on the buttons. And I don't also want them to go to different links. So what I do is I take them off like this. Even on the first slide, I'm going to take it off. And I'll show you another way you can customize your text. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. Now we have entered the text and the image for the first slide. Let's work on the images and text for the rest of the two slides. So I go over to the second slide. I'm just going to leave the dummy text. However, I'll choose an image. I select this one, then I click on select. I'll leave everything as they are. Finally, I go to the last slide. Then I'll choose a different image for that. Now we have everything set for the images and then the text. Going down, right here you see that we have primary button and secondary button. Now I only want to have one button for all the slides. That means that I don't want to have read more, I only want learn more. So what I can do is go over to primary button and the text that is learn more, I'll change it to shop now. Because the slider I'm creating is for a shop. 
then this is where i enter the link to the shop page so i'll just type in shop if i have it it will show i think it is labeled as store so enter store instead of shop i have it here i select it now everything is changed for all the slides so the shop now button will be redirected to the shop page now the read more i don't want it so i go over to secondary button what i can do is just take off the text and the moment that is done the button will go off as you can see so apart from customizing the buttons under every single slide you can as well customize them under the primary and the secondary buttons separately now let's see slider settings the first thing we have here is overlay the overlay is where we choose a color for the images so that our text will appear very well so if i toggle this off you see the actual color of the images which is obstructing our text as you can see the text are not visible that much so i'll enable the overlay and you can choose whatever color you want from here as your overlay it should be noted that you can also use an image as your overlay we also have autoplay if you want the slider to change automatically that is where you enable autoplay and i think it is cool and the rest of the features i leave them as they are next let's go over to style we are already seeing container settings next we have title that is the main header right here on top if you want to change the color this way you can do that i don't actually want to change i think everything else is cool here we also have the title span that is the text we set earlier as different color i want to choose a color that is in line with the colors of my website so i choose this one instead of the blue color you will now see this pink color we also have type title if you want to change the color description the button colors if you want to change it you can do that you see that i have a different color right here now the button color i'm going to change it to match with the colors of my website at the moment it is set to this blue i want to use this pink color and then the hover i go over there and then the background type i choose classic and then the color i'll choose this one now if i hover on it you see the effect awesome next we have navigation and dos that is the controls right here this one and then the dos here let's see how we can change them the colors is set to blue i don't want that i choose this color for them as you can see and finally i have the navigation which is also still blue i choose this now let's see how it will come up awesome let's update and take a look i can exit from here for now awesome this is cool now let's deal with this side going back with this you can just use some static images for them but if you want to have it as we saw on the introduction let me show you how you can do that so i go back to the nine dots icon right here i search for slider and i'm going to use the same slider so i take it in here meanwhile the slice here by default i'll get two i only need one so i take off the other one it's still not showing don't worry it's as a result of my internet connection it will show all right i have it here so first of all let's deal with the buttons so i go over to primary button make this one shop now even though we don't see it don't worry and the link is going to be store i have it here i click to insert it next is secondary button we don't need it so i take it off so i'm only going to have one button as this one since it's not going to be a slider we don't need to worry about the slider settings next let's go over to style the height here i'm going to go ahead and change it to zero pixels as you can see it has reduced for pardon top i'm going to make it 20 right will be maintained bottom will be maintained and then left i will make it 30. the title i'm going to go ahead and change the size so on the typography i make it 20. next is line height i reduce it from here 
maybe to 25 let's go to subtitle that is this text you can change the size if you want however for this demonstration i'm not going to use the subtitle if you want to change it this way you can do that so i will omit it for now finally we have description you can change the size for the description as well if you want i will leave the default which is set to 16. awesome so now i'm not seeing the button as a result of some of the text let's go back to content then i'll go ahead and take the text i don't want from here so that the button will appear as you can see now let's change the alignment of our text so on the slider i scroll down you see that it is set to align center just go ahead and disable it and it will give you the default which is align left as you can see i've already shown you how you can change your text that is from here here as well as in the description now let's add the background image i choose this and i click on insert the last thing i want to work on is the button so let's go over to style then we click on primary button we are going to maintain the text color so we don't do anything the background color i click on the color and i'm going to go ahead and take the opacity way to the end you see that we don't have the background color anymore next thing we want to do is go down and the border type i'm going to go ahead and change it to solid you see that we have a border and this is where we can set the border size or border width to do that i unlink the values everything is gone off next i come over to bottom then i go ahead and enter in one so this is how it will look like i only want the bottom border going down you see that there's some kind of radius on our border we don't want it so i change the radius from four to zero and it will run through all of them and you see that the radius is gone next is pardon we don't need the pardon we want the text to be at the end right here so what i do is i link the values together for pardon then i'm going to go ahead and change it to zero and this is how it will look like awesome next i want to add a hover effect so i go back to hover the hover text i'm going to change it to this color and then the background i set it to white like this so let's see it in action awesome the next thing we are going to do is duplicate this slider so i just right click on it then i click on duplicate so we don't need to perform the editing here anymore all what we need to do is change the background as well as our text so to change it make sure it is selected then you click on the slide right here choose a different image i will choose this one then i click on select and we have it right here it will show don't worry now i can update one more thing you can do is instead of setting all the slides to the shop page you can as well use some of the categories on your website that is if you are creating the slider for an online store let's take a look perfect this is kind of cool i like it we are done creating our hero slider perfect so that's it on how to create a slider for your website be it an online store or any kind of website in the meantime stick around to watch another tutorial from the channel keep watching and i'll see you in the next video